Now look, I just want to tell you where we have to go going forward. Again, for all the New Yorkers in the room, we need you now. Because there's a next step in this, but it only works if we get support in our state capital in Albany. We need to be able to put speed cameras around our schools in the way they'll be most effective. We need enough of them, we need them in the right places and the right hours. I want to emphasize why this should not even be a discussion. I just said speed cameras around our schools. The only people who will have a problem with a speed camera around a school is someone who is speeding by a school. <laughs> endangering children, endangering parents. And we have to go to Albany and make it that plain. The, the advocates have been unbelievably effective and so giving of themselves. And they've told their personal stories over and over to a lot of legislators who were reticent, but they've moved some. We've got to move them again. We've got to tell people, if you honor human life, if you believe there's nothing more important than protecting your fellow New Yorkers, then you've got to, you've got to believe in these big cameras. You've got to understand what a difference they'll make. And I keep telling people, they say, oh, you know, people don't like speed cameras. I keep saying, you're not going to have a problem with speed cameras if you just follow the law. Just follow the law. Just recognize that if you're speeding, someone may be in danger. Put the life of a child ahead of your desire to be at your next appointment. Change your behavior, and you're never going to get it a ticket from a speed camera. But for those who refuse, it's right to give them that ticket. It's right to show them there'll be consequences because we're protecting children. It's as simple as that. And we need all of you who can help us in Albany to go there in full force and convince them this is the right thing to do.